Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. And we have some Num Noms snackables, dippers, blind boxes that we're gonna be opening today. We did a video a long, long time ago um, that had Num Noms Series 1 toys in it. If you would like to check that out, I will link it in the description. Um, if you're not familiar with Num Noms, like what they are, um, they're made by the company MGA that does LL Surprise and Bratz. Um, you know, they're basically just little food themed minifigures. Um, they're mainly known for the core series that, you know, they're like those little rubbery looking, um, they have kind of an eraser top kind of design. They remind me of like ice cream scoops. Yeah, so they look a lot like ice cream scoops, but they, you know, they change the design of them over time. Although for the most part, the core series has stayed the same in terms of aesthetics. This series is super different because um, it's like completely separate from the main series. Um, the dippers are actual like hard plastic minifigures um, and they come in all sorts. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. I'm super excited to open these because they look really fun and very diverse compared to the core series. I personally think the core series started to get a little bit lazy, so I'm glad they changed it up with these. So first and foremost, despite how the packaging looks, these, and there's also like a Num Nom cereal blind bags out right now too, they look hardcore like food. Um, nothing you will see in this video is edible. <laughs> so do not eat it, it is not for consumption, it's all toys, stuff to play with. Um, and there's a lot of fun stuff inside. Um, I've already actually opened two off camera to just kind of get a feel for them and know what they're all about. Um, they come with sauces, which are essentially like mal putty. malleable putty yeah. slimes. Um, so yeah, I won't do too much explaining out of box. We'll just go ahead and get into them, start opening them. We have seven blind boxes here today and we will show you guys the fun stuff inside. These are priced at $6.88 if you find them at Walmart and they're $6.99 at Target. All right, so here we have our first Num Nom Snackables Dippers blind box. Um, as you can see, the packaging is adorable. It has two of the characters on the front. They're, one of them looks like a little waffle dipper and the other one reminds me of Pocky. Um, I love the design on these. I think they're super cute and you know, there's a warning that you should not be eating these. Um, and certain characters, even though it says changes color on the packaging, I do want to note, um, only some of the figures found in here change color. We'll experiment with that on camera. So let's go ahead and open this up and see who we got. So we have the first minifigure right here. It looks like a cookie. Oh, Aww, it's a little cute. sandwich cookie. Um, she's a pink little sandwich cookie with some like vanilla orange looking cream in the center. Um, her name is Strawberry Sandwich. She is a rare. Um, she's super cute. Um, I don't think the figures themselves, and these are called, by the way, the Big Dippers. These are the large figures, larger figures you'll find inside the boxes. Just cookie scented. Yeah, so she's lightly like strawberry cookie scented. She is very cute. So let's see who our other Big Dipper is. So by the way, the packaging inside, you have two Big Dippers right here. And then the sauce, which we will get to in a moment. Oh, he looks like a tortilla chip. Uh -huh. So this one is Camila Corn Chip, and she looks like a little nacho. Smells the same. <laughs> so this is the exciting part. So this is uh, the Dunk Dipper Surprise. So the reason up here it says refrigerate first is um, for like the color changing aspect, um, because you can actually refrigerate the sauce, the slime in here, and then some of the figures will change color. Um, we're not going to be doing that in the video because it just it takes too much time to sit and refrigerate these. So what we are going to do instead is we have um, a bowl of ice water off camera. So I'm pretty sure this is the character that changes color. So I'm going to dunk her in the ice water really quick and see what she looks like. All right, so... it's just wet. <laughs> it's just not wet. Yeah, so this one uh, you can barely see. But yeah, she's like, her top of her turns like a darker pink. That's an interesting color change, not super noticeable. So let's go ahead and see which dipper sauce we got. So it comes with a little plastic cap that you can recover it when you're done with it. <gasps> oh. This is a multicolored one. So I am almost positive we just got the Rainbow Jam, which that one is ultra rare. Ooh. Oh, it's so pretty. We are set. Okay, so yeah. So essentially, if you're not familiar, like the stuff in here, it is 
Okay, Ew. This, oh, this is totally the rainbow jam. Oh, it's not the And it has a secret and thingy. A little friend in there. Oh, look at that. It's so glittery and multicolored. Um, so yeah, if you're not familiar, like slimes, I feel like are really popular right now on Instagram. There's even even among like there's like adults who are really into them, and you can kind of just like mess with them, play with them. And oh, there's so much glitter. Oh, so cool. And ooh, oh, look at her. This is our little Dipper character inside, and she is precious. She is super cute. This is Holly Hart. Wow. She is ultra rare. And this is, she's a cute little pink heart cookie. I'm sure she smells like the jam, basically. Yeah, the sauce has, uh, this one is really pretty. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can put, um, so yeah, if you refrigerate it, you know, the color changing character, then you can change their color by dipping them in the sauce, the slime, instead of in water. Okay, so let's attempt to put it back in. Put this back, this will be fun. Yeah, so it's like, it leaves like a little bit of residue, not really a ton, but yeah, you're probably, when you're using this, you're gonna wanna keep something handy to wipe your hands off. And so as you can see, by the way, when you're done with the dipper sauce, you just, you snap on this little cover right here, and it says, don't eat on it. Um, you gotta be careful, these lids are a little bit flimsy. In the instructions, like, there's also a little warning that says um, it recommends you refrigerate the sauces if you wanna extend their lifespan. All right, number two. Uh, Aww, it tested marshmallow. Okay, so this is Moira Mallow. They all have like the same scent to them, and she looks like she's a color changer. So let's see. So as you can see, she becomes a darker, dark <laughs> chocolate. Yeah, she becomes a dark chocolate marshmallow. Okay, and I just <gasps> oh, <my God. laughs> oh look! Oh. It's a little unicorn piggy marshmallow. <laughs> She is adorable. She's a little unicorn piggy marshmallow. She even has a unicorn tail. Um, and they very, come with a- Very My Little Pony. Yes, and she comes with a skewer stick. Also, look, you can put- It's a head on a stake. Yes. <laughs> I know there's something like borderline like morbid about certain of them. It's really funny. But you can stick both of them on there and make your own little skewers. Super cute. And this unicorn's name is Bubbly Unicorn. Okay, so let's- Look at our slime, our sauce, put on the This is like looks mustard. Like, no, I think it's caramel, actually. Oh. Yeah, so this is the caramel slime. So it's, as you can see, Glitter. it's caramel. Yeah, it's like a, a glittery brownish. By the way, I haven't mentioned that yet, but yeah. Um, each pack comes with a collector's guide, and there's so many different characters. It lists all the dippers you can get, lets you know if they're rare or common. And it has the little dippers in the back, the scented sauces right there. The slime is very squishy. And then there's like instructions for what to do on the bottom. So this one looks like a teeny tiny little raspberry. Her name is Blossom Berry. She's our little dipper. Moving on to our next one. Oh, it's a pink waffle girl. And this big dipper is named Strawberry Waffle. And I wonder if she, let's wait till we pull them both before we decide which one color changes. Here's the other Big Dipper. Oh, it's a cookie. Wow, this one feels really squishy. Oh, he's like a panda. <laughs> Super cute. He's like a little panda cookie, and his name is Charlie Creamies. He is also ultra rare. Does he change color? He does. He gets his little spots around his eyes when you dip him, when you dip him in cold water, or when you refrigerate your slime. Let's see this slime we got. Is this more caramel? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Got a duplicate, or actually, wait a minute. I don't know, this one's a little 
orange looking, actually. Actually, I think this one's pineapple. It's not? Yeah, they're different colors. <laughs> uh, we got another <laughs> um, Holly Heart. Um, yeah, this is totally the pineapple. It smells nice. The pineapple, it does. This one's really pretty too. It's like it's like a golden, golden yellow with glitter. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. She looks like a llama. She does. They're like a weird giraffe pig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's something faded here, so I'm assuming that gets darker when you dip it in water. She has a little tail. Her name is Minty Stick. She is one of the pretzel big dippers. So I'm almost positive she changes color, so let's see. Yeah, her little her little bow tie and buttons get darker when you dip her in something cold. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, oh, she is very pretty. She's like a sparkly fry. Her name is Salty Princess. <laughs> You know what's really funny? I wonder if these are intended to be scented because they have little like food icons next to them, which is the same as the regular Num Noms, and that's usually supposed to indicate like what scent they are. She, hers is vanilla. Yeah, because it said she's supposed to be vanilla. So she's supposed to be vanilla, I guess. She is very pretty. She looks like you should not dip her in water because she's covered in glitter. Oh, this looks like lemon. Yeah, this is totally lemon. This is lemon jam. Is like very pretty, sparkly yellow. Oh, there's a little pink girl in here. Oh, she is prep. Okay, so this is bubbly meringue. She's like a tiny little meringue girl with a white bow. She has a little bear tail. This looks like a cookie again. Oh, this is like an orange cookie. Oh, he's so, I love the cookies. The cookies are so <laughs> cute. Um, this is mango cream. This one's, this one doesn't smell very good. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I guess they do have different scents. Yeah, this one's like, like weird, overpowering soap. <laughs> but he is very cute. A little sandwich cookie. Let's see our next buddy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is that? Uh, I love these little like giraffe piggy sticks. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. Um, this one is Sharetzel. <laughs> Sharetzel. She is cute. Oh, you know what? She maybe she changes color. I don't know. Let's let's test that theory. Yeah, this is this is interesting because like you can see it when you dunk her in the water, but you can't see it in the light. But basically she has little hearts on her that they appear a little bit darker when she dips in water, but I don't know, it's like Im almost impossible to see in light. Now we have our sauce. Oh God. <laughs> I've heard things. <laughs> uh, I think this is ketchup and it's probably gonna be gross. <laughs> um, I heard it smells really bad, so yeah. uh, eh, I don't know. I'm kind of like indifferent to it actually. It doesn't smell good, but it doesn't smell like bad. It, it's, it's just very it's like, like vinegary. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a mild ketchup scent to it. All right, so this is our little dipper inside the savory ketchup, which, uh, you know, no strong feelings on that one way or the other, but this little dipper is super cute. She is baby blueberry. I'm not as crazy about these like solid ones because yeah, they, it literally looks like straight up like ketchup. <laughs> like there's no glitter, it's solid color, mm. you know. All right, here's our finale. Oh, it's a little pineapple girl. This is Tropical Terra. <laughs> Our next Big Dipper. Oh, baby girl. She is a little pink and blue marshmallow. Susan Softy is her name, and she can fit on the skewer sticks as well. Okay, let's see what sauce we got. This is the blueberry syrup Ooh, sauce. Oh, this is pretty. It's like a, it's like a glittery purple. And oh, that yep. familiar. Yep. So yeah, this is a duplicate of berry blossom, blossom berry. This slime is really pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a, it's 
like a very shimmery purple. I like that. All right, last but not least, um, I just wanted to show you guys there was um, one pack that I did open off camera just to get a feel for them, so I wanted to show you what was in there, especially because this one I really loved. It was really pretty. This is um, the cotton candy icing sauce. Um, and when you first see it in the package, um, it's pink and blue separated, and then when you mix it, it becomes this really pretty, like, like tie-dye purple. So I like that one a lot. This one smells pretty nice, too. These were also a couple other characters that I pulled. You know, the Big Dippers, Little Waffle Boy. Waffle, actually, no, they're both Little Waffle Girls. And another cool rare character I pulled is this little chocolate chip. Little Dipper Choco Chip. All right, so here are our final thoughts on Num Num Snackables Dippers. I love these. <laughs> I think they are really adorable. Um, you know, like I said at the beginning of the video, I think they're a lot more fun, a lot more diverse than standard Num Noms. Um, I really hope they continue to go in this direction in terms of design. Um, yeah, I don't know. The core series was just starting to kind of lose some of its luster for me because they all kind of, you know, the physical design was just all the same. They were kind of just changing the paint on them. Um, I really appreciate that these are like actual like food minifigures. Um, I just think they have a much broader appeal. Um, I also personally think like I mean, given how much blind boxes cost nowadays, like I think six eighty eight, six ninety nine is actually a pretty fair price for them as well. And the slimes are a lot of fun. You know, I think they're pretty and glittery, and you can like you know I don't know they just. There's like, you know, they're fun to play with. They're almost like new age stress balls. A lot of people seem to be using them as um, kind of just relaxing to mess with. And uh, I would I would recommend these. I think they're very cute. They're very fun. Um, I agree with Max. Um, they're very unique and creative. Definitely much better than the original Num Nums. I think in general, blind boxes are way too overpriced for what you're getting, but they're cute and they're colorful. And I like the design on them. So I can see kids loving them. Um, the slime portion can be very messy, especially if it is a small child and they get on, you know, your car seat or on your couch, that sucks. Um, but you know, the slimes are pretty, like, it peels off pretty clean off your hands. Alright, thank you for joining us for our unboxing of Num Num Snackables Dippers Series 1. Make sure to let us know what you guys think of this new series from Num Noms in the comments. What you would like to see us review or unbox next. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't yet, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.